so guys i've brought them out from the freezer oh my god i love what i'm seeing oh my god look at them so i'm going to be putting them inside ziploc bags now these are my ziploc bags my husband bought them from a mall in Breda. There are different sizes, but this one is about the biggest one. I'm going to be using this one. So, let's start from this one. So, this way, when you drop this into the Ziploc bus, they are not going to clump together any longer. So, after dropping them in here, I'm going to put them back into the freezer. And it can stay like this for several months. Look at that. Look at that can stay like this for several months whenever you want to cook it you bring it out for example this one now if you want to cook it and you bring it out if you just do one one like this frozen but one one separated you know so and you have to allow the water to be boiling on fire you don't defrost it no if you def defrost it you you have spotted so you now throw it inside the boiling water and it will cook perfectly well just like when it's was fresh just like when it has not been frozen and you enjoy it you can do the same with yam just as like i did with this you can do the same with yam and with uh, the yam the one you cut for yam for yam um, chips too you can do the same here so i'm gonna be putting these other ones inside the ziplock So just like this long one this can never clump together again so that is the essence of the flash freezing when you freeze it on a flat surface and um, before putting it inside your ziplock bag it will never clump together again it will continue being single single like this no matter how many years or how many months you leave it inside the freezer that is the benefit of flash freezing now you know what I mean so now you've learned how to do it yourself when it comes to preserving your green plantain for a longer period of time for future use you do it like this yep 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 I just have to separate it's not difficult to separate so this my this my planting is going to go a long way in the several delicacies I enjoy especially in my weight loss journey I really thank my elder sister for gifting me this plantain in Nigeria I really appreciate her she's a hard worker and she has this plantain in her house so she gave it to me and um, Dajara, thank you so much. I really appreciate Dajara and Bro Anselm. This is a special gift, a special gift from them to us. <laughs> I didn't know it was this big. When I came back, I opened my bag. The first bag I opened, I saw some plantains inside. So I just had to see this. Okay, this is the second bag. Who go stop? So I, I decided to share with some of my friends, my family friends here. So it took me, this is about more than one week. Yes, we came back on the on the 10th and today is 19th. Oh my God. It took me about nine days more to open the other bags and then um, to see these other plantains. I was like, ah, the plantains my sister packed for me is are they this big are they this plenty i didn't know so because of that i was like no 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 i'm not gonna allow all of them ripe at the same time i'm going to do some things and i'm going to preserve them in some way that i would be able to use them later as green plantain not as ripe plantain you know that ripe plantain has already turned to carbohydrate but the green one has a lot of iron in it so that's why I decided to preserve these ones so that they will not all ripe I want to get the iron the benefit the iron benefit in it so this is it Ugum I don't like what you're doing oh my god see what this girl is doing 
my water. And the weather is cold. Why are you playing with cold water? Please stop. Stop. Fastalicious loves you.